Welcome back to Don't Starve, Reign of Giants, everybody. My name is Bear. We are currently in the midst of trying to make this a viable thing for Wigfrid here. I'm going to plant down these saplings that we actually just uh, went around acquiring as we were walking around the wilderness here. Get a nice row of saplings right by the campsite. That's going to be very nice. And we're also going to plant this uh, grass tuft here, too, just because might as well get that going. And we're going to have to fertilize these ones, of course, but... Eventually, we're going to be able to do so. I'm going to try to take down a couple more frogs here as well. This is uh, this has been basically my only source of food for a little while here, as I'm uh, trying to trying to uh, trying to get the rabbit traps going. Let's go ahead and take these guys down too. I take very very little damage from these guys while I'm taking them out, so not very uh, not very concerning for me. We're going to whip up a quick fire here. We're going to get this uh, get this frog leg roasted because this has been the only thing I've been eating for a little while, unfortunately. A very, very sad, lonely existence for Wigfrid, but we are in the in the midst of uh, whipping up quite a few of these rabbit traps here. We actually need a lot more grass to get this uh, to get this going, so sadly we're going to have to do a lot more harvesting. We're going to uh, actually start digging these up with a shovel here. Try to get the grass tufts. Ooh, do not dig those up, though. That would be really bad. Do not do that. I hope these birds aren't ruining anything for me here, too. Actually, you know what? Digging these ones up by my campsite is probably not the, the greatest idea in the world. I probably only want to dig up the ones that are uh, further up to the left here. Because uh, I can easily just wander over in this du this direction and uh, pick those things up. So, let's not do that. There is quite a bit of grass in this area, which is nice. I'm probably only going to want to dig up the grass that is uh, a lot further away. That way I'll be able to uh, supplant my my lack of immediate resources with those that I've acquired from a distance. Should be very helpful. I'm gonna need a lot more grass here though. Let's do the math real fast. So it looks like I need two twigs for every six grass I need to make uh, traps. So if I have five twigs, let's go ahead and make that a nice even six. I'm gonna need 18 grass in order to make three more traps to plant around the campsite. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and get two more. So let's make it 24 grass is the overall goal here. And hopefully I'll be able to get four traps going. And that should be a pretty decent supply of uh, rabbit traps and that'll be a uh, you know a not not terrible source of food for the immediate future here and we can uh, continue to try to find better sources around the area might actually try my hand at killing a few beefalo I know that that's a pretty uh, pretty dangerous play but I might be able to, able to get something like a beefalo horn we're obviously gonna get some beefalo meat from it so that'll be uh, that'll be nice I'm probably going to have to go back and try to uh, kill a few frogs. In fact, I know there's a couple more pond sources over on the left side here, so maybe I'm going to go ahead and look at that. Uh, so I almost got uh, 24 grass here. I'm just going to get basically as much as I can before I head back. I am getting hungry, though, so I'm probably going to go take a gamble on this. Let's go over in this direction and try to find a few more frogs over here. Might want to dig these ones up, too, just because they're pretty easy to access. All right, so here's a few more frogs. This should be actually a pretty good source. These guys are going to try to take me down. We're just going to get some free cut grass here as well. They don't hurt that much, so again, not much cause for alarm there. Fishing rod would be a pretty good investment too. I think the fishing rod will give us a good supply of meat. This is the wormhole that takes us over to the north side. Uh, I might just make a temporary campfire over here actually, but I am going to try to get back to the campsite first. Uh, we're down to 10 hunger right now. My sanity is kind of depleting as well. Let's go ahead and put my garland back on since I'm not fighting anybody at the moment. And I'm going to try to dig these up really fast, just to give myself uh, a good supply of grass as we go back here. We're just going to dig up a few of them as we head back over this direction. There we go. And then we'll come back up to the north side after we come back to the campsite here. I'm probably going to go ahead and try to kill a few of these beefalo. Maybe if I attack them while they're sleeping, I'll have a better chance of, uh, better chance of avoiding too much damage. That might be a worthwhile attempt, I suppose, at handling the situation. Need to find some more gold as well to get a few of those other things going on. But a fishing rod, I think, may be the next big move. I think that might be the thing I need the most. So we're going to have to look into that possibility. I hope my fire's still going. It's not. All right. Let's go ahead and just put a grass tuft in there. I think we can afford to do that. That's a nice big flame, too. Wow, that's really good. All right. There's a few frog legs for me that'll tide me over for a little while. We are starving at the moment, unfortunately. So there we go. We're going to have to eat all three of those. And now I think it's time. I'm going to go ahead and put these grass tufts in the in the cold, soft earth. Plant, plant, plant. There we go. Nice, even pattern there. And then I think we got a few more saplings somewhere. Maybe we don't. I thought we had a couple. Oh, well. Not a big deal. 
We're gonna put the pan flute away too. I'm pretty sure I don't need to have that in my inventory at the moment, as well as the marble. That's not really helping me out that much. So let's go ahead and whip up a few traps. We're gonna place those along the road as we go up, and then we're gonna head over to the beefalo and see what we can do up in that direction. So we should be able to make four total here. There's the four we need. Okay, so that is a good supply of traps. We're actually gonna put those further away from the campsite to give us a reason to uh, allow the rabbits to feel safe and at home, you know, something like that. I do have a torch at the ready, so that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and just find as many holes as I possibly can on my way back up to the north end. Things are looking okay here. Again, it's just, uh, we're kind of relying on frog legs at the moment, but we're doing all right. Two more traps left to place. Just trying to find the, uh, the homes of these little critters. As close to the campsite as I can possibly find them. I don't know if I'm actually okay, so I might need to just place them. I might need to just place them near to the uh, near to the campsite because I know there's a couple of holes that I missed out on down that way. Oh, let's see here. Just make sure I'm capitalizing on the territory as much as I possibly can, not having to venture too far out to find food. Ooh, where are the? I thought there were a lot more than there are apparently, but let's just go ahead. I'm going to take off this torch just so I can save it a little bit while I'm wandering around this direction. And just kidding, I'm going to go ahead and put it right back on. Ooh, yeah, that'll do okay, I guess. And then I think there's one more hole down this way as well. Hmm. I need to make another torch. don't have the resources for it, though. What do I need to, do to make a torch here? I need one piece of grass so we can get that right here. It is nearly daytime, though, so you know what I'm actually going to do right here? I think I have an axe. I don't have an axe, unfortunately. I'm just going to go ahead and wait this out. I'm going to try to find one last place to find this trap, or to put this trap, rather. But the day is almost upon us. I'm going to go ahead and wait this out. I think it's like three more seconds, actually. But there we go. Or just literally right now. That works, too. Yeah, we'll put this one right here, and uh, that's a decent place for it. And that'll do. All right, now. Now it's high time. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and have to kill a few more frogs if I can find them. I need to get fertilizer for this grass, obviously, so that's going to be a high priority. I'm going to put this seed underneath this one to bait it out. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully our expedition to the north will yield results both in the way of the beefalo and in the way of the the rabbits. Uh, hopefully, wandering themselves into the traps we set for them. Let's go ahead and make these up again. Probably gonna have to think about uh, making a new battle helm and battle spear at some point. There's some frog legs for me. Hopefully, you can find another one here. I'm gonna look into the resources necessary to create a fishing rod too, because I think that's probably gonna be a great source of food for us. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I should make that a number one priority right now. I'm going to cook these frog legs up first because I'm starving. Let's go ahead and do that. And then survival. I need a fishing rod. Where do I go for that? We need silk. All right, so where did I find spiders? Where is the nearest source? I think up in this direction. Not sure there's any closer than that. Yeah, I think I need to go over here, kill some spiders, get some silk. We'll come back, we'll make a fishing rod, and then we'll see how well that fares in the uh in the pond here hopefully there'll be another frog i'll come up as soon as i come over in this direction actually come on now come on ah damn oh well we'll be fine we'll be fine here we haven't been full in a long time but damn it i'm gonna be all right i'm gonna survive this at least that's the goal sanity's not looking good we should probably just wear this until we get to the spiders i guess that's gonna help us out a little bit boost it to touch a lot more twig and grass up here so that's always useful all right here's the uh here's the objective Let's go ahead and take this out. Probably not going to find too many spiders to deal with, as it is pretty early on right now. Going to get the silk I need from this, I imagine. We do have monster meat as well. If I really wanted to eat something, I could rely on that. Need to, be, need to uh, make the ice box as well. I keep forgetting about that. So the ice box is probably going to have to be a priority, and I think we need charcoal for that. So I should probably go ahead and pick up the twigs and the leaves that I'm finding here so we can make up some more torches and traps. And uh, we'll get the charcoal, we'll get the ice box going pretty soon. And we have the spider gland for healing. I am at full health still, so obviously that's good. We're going to put the garland back on to get my sanity back up. It's actually at 100 right now, so that's good. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kill him too. Get a bit more food. The music doesn't even trigger, man. It's so quick, I love that. Alright, very good. Oh, hey, look at that. Fantastic. Our first results. Very good. Let's go ahead and whip up a morsel real fast, because that sounds pretty delicious too. Ooh, nice! Actually, wow, this is working really well. Hell yes! Very, very good. Alright, we've already gotten two. Looking good, baby. Yeah, let's go ahead and just eat as much as I possibly can right now, actually. 
We're gonna whip up another morsel from that. We're gonna have some frog legs. I'll probably go ahead and have some monster meat because I am gonna be able to wear the garland and kind of cancel out the uh, negative effects of that. We're gonna cook them up real fast. The monster jerky again is another thing that I can consider making. Uh, something that doesn't hurt me too much. Uh, let's go ahead and cook these morsels here too while we still have the fire going. And we're only midway through the day, so I actually could go ahead and take a uh, take this opportunity to head north again. We do need to make that fishing rod. That was the entire point of going up in that direction. So let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. And then let's see what kind of result we can yield from the fishing rod. I'm probably going to have to get more silk because this thing I imagine isn't going to last too long. Let's go ahead and fish in this and see what kind of result we get. If we get a bunch of fish from this, that might be good enough. Oh, uh, do I need to, uh... I need to do something, don't I? I need to, like... Oh, I need to hook them. Okay, so I see what's going on here. So it actually takes a little bit of, uh, finesse. Have a, there we go. Alright, reel it in. Nice. Got a fish. Good. Okay, that'll work. Oh, eating raw fish, I guess, is a thing. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, this is... This is good. If I can get a whole bunch of fish here... We're gonna fish again. Maybe there's only one per pond or something like that. Let's find out. No, it looks like we might find a few. Okay, this is, uh... This is really good. Fishing rod could, uh, could be the saving grace of this run. I think I need a lot more silk, though, if I want to try to get, uh, fish as a reliable source of food. That's gonna require me to, uh, take a journey down into the spider territory, get a whole bunch of silk, and be able to make a few of those things. Let's go ahead and cook these ones up. Yeah, the, uh, we can put the grass... Oh, man, I wish I had another grass tuft. We could get this big roar and flame going, but... Can just cook up some fish here. Make some nice frog legs as well again. And we got cooked fish. That looks a lot more like sushi than the actual raw fish did. Kind of interesting. Alright! That looks good, man. I'm happy with this stuff. We got a pretty decent setup going on, and we got another rabbit. Holy cow! This is going great! Oh, man! Look at me go! I'm, I'm gonna be full here! This is fantastic! I don't even need to kill the beefalo necessarily right now. I think what I ought to do is try to focus on uh, making a drying rack, making an ice box, and uh, giving myself a nice, reliable source of food. Or even, you know, like multiple reliable sources of food. That could be very, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and dig up this grass tuft, because this is going to give us a, uh, a good source of fuel at the moment. I don't necessarily have to have a really big fire, though. Well, I already did it. <laughs> I already did it. Might as well follow through. And there's that cooked meat, and that gives us up to 105, okay. We're gonna unequip that, we're gonna put our battle helm and battle spear back on as soon as we get up in this territory. But, uh, yeah. So I can always just consider, uh, oh my god, this is great. I'm just gonna keep this rabbit alive for now, though. I can always just consider the possibility of going down into the, uh, into the spiders area that I found by the pigs on the southeast end. And that way I can get a whole bunch of silk and I can make a few fishing rods, have those in my chest, and I can just have that as a, uh, as a really, really consistent meal ticket, you know? Like, that's, that's pretty good. And of course the horn frogs just kind of come out and wander around. We can eat some uh, frog legs as often as we like. Obviously farms are not going to be a very helpful thing. But I think I want to I wanna make an ice box as early as I can. I want to just try to get a whole bunch of food going. Right now, I'm just going for manure, and I might try to kill a couple of beefalo. Get a beefalo horn, maybe some beefalo wool for some winter stuff later on. Actually, that's probably a good idea. I should consider doing that. I'll probably do that right now. It is almost nighttime, though. We're going to be looking at making a torch here. I can only make one, so I should probably go ahead and try to get some more grass. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that right now. I haven't found too much unique stuff here, either. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's go ahead and make this up real quick. We can't make two torches now, so that's good. I'm just going to try to find as much manure as I can and bring that back down to my campsite and just uh, fertilize all the grass sources that I have down there. That'll hopefully be uh, reliable enough for a little while. We're going to try to get a whole bunch of grass down there, actually. That's going to be, the, uh, that's gonna be the, the big ticket item. The thing that I hopefully don't have to wander around too much for is the, the big grassy plains. The fields of, fields of resources. Should I? You know what? I might. Uh, well, no, doing this at nighttime probably isn't the greatest idea. Just need to get a bit more manure from these guys. Trying to find it. Six is not not enough just yet. I think I need like eight or ten to be able to fertilize all of the grass that I found up to this point. Uh, it's not looking like I'm gonna get lucky here though. So I might actually just try to do some fishing. Hmm. I really wish they showed up on the mini map. I know that there's that uh. There's that mod that uh, makes the beefalo show up on the minimap. Maybe that's something I should look into. 
We could also definitely use a few more traps up in this area too. We're seeing that there's the uh there's the uh the rabbit holes. The dwellings of the rabbit. Alright, I am gonna light a fire here too. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself up some charcoal. Oh shit. Oh god, okay, hold up. Man, really glad I had those resources still around. Uh, I don't want to start a huge forest fire though, so let's just try to keep this a little isolated. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. Just get a little bit of charcoal here. I don't have an axe at the moment, and I don't think I have the resources to make it either. Damn. What do I need? I think I just need some flint, don't I? Some, uh, oh, I just need a twig. Oh, Alright, that's easy enough. Let's do that. Uh, I am still full up. I could, uh, you know what I could do? I'm gonna go ahead and put this down real fast. I'm just gonna murder this thing and then eat the raw morsel. Yeah, not very helpful, but for now, it's probably gonna take priority just so I don't have to spend too much time out here. Alright, so there's one and there's two charcoal. Not too much, but might do, an, might do the job for what we need right now. Let's have a look real quick, actually. The, uh, the, the refrigerator, I'm pretty sure, is a science build. Let's have a quick look at this stuff. Rainometer. I want to make the, uh, the umbrella at some point, maybe. I can't quite recall where the icebox was. Maybe it's in structures. Very well could be in structures. Well, it could, it, it would probably be in the, uh, the science realm of structures, I, I imagine. So, let's go have a quick look at this stuff. Check it on the traps, of course, as we walk by. Just in case we get some good grip. Okay, nothing doing. Maybe this one, maybe this one. Nope. Alright, well, that's fine. All is well and good. Now, let's have a quick look here. Let's see uh, the refinement. No, it's not going to be in there. Let's have a look at all this stuff. The ice box is not within the uh, science area of, you know, science, so <laughs> roll that out. Uh, the pig house is in here. Let's see. Keep on looking, keep on looking. Cobblestones, that'd be fun. All the way down, scaled chest, carpeted flooring, checkered flooring. Maybe it's in food. Actually, yeah, it's probably in food. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. All right, we need gears and we need gold. And we need cut stone as well. We need a lot more charcoal and cut stone for the things that I want to make. So, I think I need to set some more fires and I need to go on a bit of an exploration mission. See if I can't find some gears somewhere. Oh, hey, look. That's convenient. Cool. Uh, we're going to put that down. We're going to... Uh, Pretty sure I don't want to drop the rabbit, so let's put this guy in here. We're going to make up a morsel. There you go like that. And we're going to have some food. There we go. All right. Let's go explore a little bit. I am uh, I'm down for letting the rabbit traps... Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. We're going to go ahead and crap, er, crap, grab this one, too. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. We'll do this again. Boom. Good stuff. I don't even know if I murdered that one. I think I just cooked it alive. I am a bastard. Oh my god, whatever would hate me. <laughs> Alright, let's head down this way. My sanity is not looking too great. I am wearing the garland though, so hopefully I'm improving it. I'm going to try my hand at finding some gears somewhere. I know that there's just going to be some random strewn stuff. Uh, maybe uh, another uh, marble statue or something like that. Somewhere where I can get some gears. If I can find those, uh, those pogo horses somewhere around this area, I would be able to... Uh, to take them out pretty easily and get myself some gears that way because I'm pretty sure they just drop gears every time they die so that would work out. We have a couple more ponds here too. Of course this is just the swamp land so this is not really the greatest place to to hang out to make yourself at home. I probably want to make a backpack pretty soon here too. I was putting some stuff away but it's looking like I'm going to need a lot more resource inventory space than I initially suspected. Swamp land is not really what I'm looking for here though. This is actually looking like it's going to be a dead end too. Oh, this isn't very good. Making a tentacle spike would be nice, or just getting one rather, if I can manage to take out the uh, to take out the tentacle monster. Wonder what he actually looks like. I wonder if you ever fight the full-fledged tentacle beast. That sounds like it could be a uh, a worthy addition in the in the Raid of Giants DLC. This guy actually just like you know pops out of the ground finally and makes you aware of his th thunderous presence. That'd be horrifying. Alright, well, this entire area is kind of a bust. Let's go ahead and go back down this way. I'm hoping we find a road or something at some point through here, too, but no such luck. Alright. First diversions was a failure. Let's go back and get back to the main road see what else we can find. Uh, there is a gravestone down there. And, of course, that was the, uh, the living tree somewhere in this area. Yep, there it was. I'm going to try going down this direction. 
We're gonna follow the main road again until it turns to the right, and then we're just gonna keep on going straight down and uh, see what we can find over there. I want to follow the road as often as I can, of course, because that's giving us the uh, giving us or uh, allowing me to take advantage of my time as optimally as I possibly can. Because I do need to be very mindful of the uh, the overall lack of ability Wigfred has to really diverge too far from the home she set up for herself that we've set up for, of course, because we're trying so desperately to provide reliable sources of meat. She's so damn picky. Just have a carrot, goddammit! Ooh, hello, this is exactly what we're looking for. Ooh. Fight demon! The Maxwell statue. We got some marble trees here, too. Might be able to chop these down. If I had a hammer. If I had a hammer, that would be... That would be nice. That wasn't exactly what we were looking for. I got a little bit too excited at the first... At the, uh, the first sight there, but... It's close. Closing in on the goal here. So trying to find those uh we're trying to find gears that's what the that's what the big objective is here as soon as we can find some gears ooh hoo, yes oh snap the beefalo wool that is nice all right i need to put something down i'm gonna go ahead and leave behind a gold nugget actually i think the uh i think the beefalo wool is worth its weight of gold to be honest so we're gonna go ahead and pick this stuff up and leave this spear behind too Ooh, careful 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 we are uh in dangerous territory. I can't even make a torch right now. I need to get back. We don't have any twigs. Ooh, I've got to sprint, dude. I've got to run. I've really got to run. What the hell is that thing? Ooh, I don't like those at all. Those are scary. Those do not look like my friends. All right, I need to sprint back. Oh, God, okay. You know what I need to do? I need to drop some stuff. I need to make a torch. I need to make a torch. I don't have a choice. I'm going to drop that charcoal. I'm going to come back for it at some point. Just got to remember the charcoal is at Maxwell statue. That's what I need to know. Alright, let's make a torch now. We're gonna have to drop an axe or something, too. Oh, boy. Actually, you know what? I do have the inventory space for this. Somehow, I think I used... Oh, yeah, of course, I used the uh, the only grass and twigs I had. So, we need to run back to, to, the, uh, to the campsite right now. And uh, hope that at least a few of our traps have caught. And uh, then we'll be able to, hopefully, have food for the evening. Because, yeah, I'm running low on the... Uh, in the stomach category again. Oh boy. Oh boy, we do still have our charcoal. I'm probably gonna try to put a few things away in the chest as well. I got the beefalo hat and the beefalo wool. This is gonna be very, very nice come winter time. That's extremely convenient to come across. That's the benefit of wandering around, man. You're gonna find stuff like that if you keep on going, so that's good. That's very, very nice. Ooh, there's some... Oh, pig house, that's right. Of course. Killing the pig friends, I don't know about that. That could be a, kind of a last-ditch effort if I really ran down on uh, my other stuff, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. All right, so we've made it back. Let me go ahead and put some logs in the fire. Keep my, uh, well, you know what? I'm just going to let the torch burn. Whatever. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. I'm going to bait some of these traps just because we can. Got some seeds from the wanderings. Oh, we already had a torch. Oh, whoops. Well, might as well let this one burn, then. And then we're gonna unequip the, uh, the full one. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna put away the, uh, we're gonna put away the beefalo hat and the beefalo wool. How about long for the feast? We need some food for you, don't we? Don't we, Skipper? Alright, well, see if any of these caught. Probably not. She's gonna take the seeds away, that stupid little bird. Alright, time to fish. We're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna hope the horn frogs are around again. That would be ideal. Whip this. There you are. There you are, you little friendo. Now we're just gonna do this real fast. I think the fish are actually a lot more valuable than the uh, than the frogs are. So let's focus on this. He's gonna he's gonna make himself known though. So let's just go ahead and take him out real fast. Uh, let's kill you. Oh god. There we go. All right. Oh, I. S oh, he takes away items from my inventory. That's right. Okay. I remember that now. Silly little thing he does. Okay. More fish, and we got two more inventory slots, so I'm going to try to get two more fish here. Actually, they'll probably stack on top of one another, so that's good. Just got to go fishing. Just got to do some nice, relaxing fishing, and they just look perfectly normal, don't they? Just a perfectly normal thing, those fish. Maybe I should just catch as many as I possibly can here. I'll get three. Three will probably be good, if I can manage to get another one here. There we go. Yeah, that'll work for now. 
We'll have our filling meal, and we'll call it good for this episode of Don't Starve, everybody. So thanks very much for watching again. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Leave a like if you're doing so. Appreciate that very much. And uh, we are going to eat with Wigfred, and uh, then we're going to hope that we can uh, make some good things happen next time. So, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.